In our last demonstration, we talked about Aboriginal art. And in our Aboriginal art, we talked about our two characters that we did. Um, I chose Mr. Kangaroo and Mr. Gecko, and we talked about mixing the primary colors together to get the secondary colors. I took red and yellow and mixed them together to get this row of orange. And on Mr. Gecko, I used yellow and blue and mixed those together to get this row of green. In the background of our um, Aboriginal art painting, we're going to use monochromatic colors. Those are the colors we practiced um, and that looked something like this. We had this color chart in front of us and we mixed gray and then we mixed pure color plus white is a tint and pure color plus black is a shade. So we worked on mixing tints and shades and I used green and I did red. On my background here, I'm going to use some purple. So I'm going to start with purple. I'm going to put purple kind of right in the middle on my palette. And I'm going to use some white to make my tints. Okay, and I'm going to use some black to make my shades. So here's my black. Now purple and black shades are kind of hard to see because black purple is already such a dark color, but we'll, we'll do the best we can. Okay, so with my tints and shades, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take a, a couple circles. I'm going to start with a circle, and in that circle I'm going to use a pure color. I'm going to use my purple. I'm going to take a circle anywhere where there's a larger area. I'm going to take my circle and I'm just going to start with one dot. There's my circle. I'm going to make another circle down here. Dot. And I'm going to fill up my fill up my Q-tip again with my purple paint. I'm going to make another dot back here. Let me see that good. And I'm going to start with another dot right here. Okay, so I've got four dots. How many dots are we going to have? Four dots. You got it. Now I'm going to mix a monochromatic color scale. So I'm going to take some white here. Remember with our color mixing, we always start with our lightest color first. So I'm going to take this yeah, this white. Can you see that? Sorry, the white here and mix my purple into it. So I've got like a purpley white there. I'm going to take this purpley white now. I'm going to turn it and set it like that so you can see it. And I'm going to start with this one dot I have and I'm going to dot around it. And I'm going to kind of remix, regroup here, get some more. I'm going to dot around this one. Now remember you need to fill up your Q-tip as you go. Okay, and I'm going to go down to this one. Now, if you start to get to a point where your Q-tip is getting a little too sloppy and the, um, the, uh, the cotton on it is not working so well, I'm going to show you how to kind of readjust your Q-tip. And this is how you do it. After I get done with this one, so there's all my dots. Now I'm going to take my paper towel and I'm just going to kind of wipe this on my paper towel. I'm going to twist it as I pull it towards me and push all that cotton back to the front. So now I've got it rounded and I've got the cotton back onto the front. Now I'm going to take some more purple and mix it into my white to get a darker what? Tint, right? Darker tint of purple. Okay. And I'm going to do that around my next ones here. Okay. And notice as I move this, move my dots in a circular pattern around that very first dot, as I move it'll start to take on a really cool effect. So there's my first circle. Here's my next one. And remember if you start running out, you can always mix more.
Try to make sure you've always got a lot of paint on your Q-tip. You don't want to run out of paint. That won't look nice. Now, as you can see, I'm almost doing the same thing we did with our color mixing chart. We're changing the color just a little bit each time. Now, you can guess, I'm going to get some more purple and put it in here and mix a darker yet tint of purple. It's almost pure purple. It's darker tint of purple. I'm going to use that. Now, I'm going to, for the purpose of the demonstration here, I'm going to start here. I'm going to go around this side and what happens when I run into Mr. Kangaroo? I'm going to stop and I'm going to kind of come out the other side and I'm going to leave that dot out because we don't want to bump Mr. Kangaroo. We're going to pretend that our color goes behind Mr. Kangaroo or Mr. Gecko or Mr. Turtle um, and that all of that um, is underlapped or Mr. Turtle, Miss Turtle, whoever, however you want to look at it, they are over the top of our color. Okay, so we don't want to bump them or go right over the top of them. That's very important because they're the main part of our pictures, right? So it's important that we see them the most. And the rest of all that color is going to be behind them. Okay, so as you go, make sure to keep your artwork neat, keep your dot making thoughtful, don't get sloppy, don't get smushy, make nice dots all around in a circle. Okay. Notice that I've only used white so far. White and purple that is. I have not used my tint or my shades of black yet. Okay. We'll get to that in just a minute. Okay, now I've gotten to the point where if I add more purple to this, the, the thing is it turns almost purple. It's almost perfect purple at this point. Once you get to the point where if you add too much more, it's going to get purple, do that purple, okay, and once, or, you know, pure color. When you get to your pure color, do one row of pure color all the way around. And you can see now that I'm working over here with my pure color. And do your last row with pure color. Then we're going to switch to our shades. Okay, and as you remember, shades are where you take your pure color and add black to it. Just a little black at a time, of course. So let me finish with my pure color. Okay, now I'm done with my pure color. Now I'm going to start with my uh, shades. I'm going to take my purple. I'm going to squish off as much as I can here so that I don't get that on my hands. Okay, I'm going to set this one aside and get a new paper towel. And now I'm going to start in with my shades. Shade is whenever you mix your pure color with black. And I'm kind of run out, running out of my pure color here. So I'm going to take a little bit more purple and I'm going to start in with my black. I'm going to take a little bit of black. Notice I changed sides there. Okay, So we don't mix our tints and our shades together. I'm going to mix my purple with that black. 
and I'm going to start in on a shade. You can see how different that is. It's a little darker. It's a little more shade looking. And I'm going to keep moving with that. I'm going to add a little bit more black in, make another darker tint, or sorry, darker shade. And what am I really doing here? I'm making a pattern with my shades and tints, right? Now I'm going to switch and take my old, old um, Q-tip here, I'm going to throw it out, get a new Q-tip, and go back to the beginning. I'm going to start with yellow, or I'm going to start with white now. Okay? We haven't done white yet, so I have a new Q-tip. Start with white, and do the same thing, keep going.
Okay, there's the white. Now I'm going to go back to mixing a tint of the same thing. Okay.
that concludes our demonstration of how to do the Aboriginal artwork.